holy Jesus. What is that? What the fuck is that? The VX-23 is a late game prototype fighter in Project Wingman. To describe it best, the plane is the result of what happens when you have a J-20 and an F-22 Raptor go at it after a one night stand. Its name is probably borrowed from the YF-23 but I like to believe it took its name from the 23rd Air Test and Evaluation Squadron or the actual VX-23. Anyways, this plane was famously used by the Pacific Federation's Peacekeeper Squadrons and more specifically, Crimson Team. Because it is a prototype, only the best few pilots are able to get their hands on one. I would rate this plane just below the FS-15, which is a compliment for a fighter I barely use. Its maneuverability is on the high end as far as fighters go and probably has the best U8 in the game. It's also a 5th generation trademark fighter but stealth is optional in this game as it does not work. The external hard points also do not help. Also, it looks stupid when your weapons are set to standard missiles. To make your plane look sleeker and not have any missiles hanging out, set your special weapons to slot 2 to hide them to experience proper stealth. The VX-23 also has the largest MLAA loadout of all planes with a max loadout of 12. Along with the standards, you can launch up to 14 missiles in a single salvo. However, you have to cycle through all your weapon slots to launch all of your missiles. For air-to-air -air missions, the full MLAA setup is ideal and while SAA does exist, I have no reason to use them. There is also an MGP which can be used along with your main gun to double your gun damage. While you do have access to air-to-ground weapons, the VX-23 is not ideal for ground attack missions. There are better planes out there, although in multi-role oriented missions, I would bring out the MLAG or UGBL if my aim was good. Before we discuss modules, let's learn how to dogfight against these planes. Unlike most non-boss aircraft, the VX-23 has more health than the typical plane. It requires at least 3 missiles to shoot down unlike the usual two. The VX-23 is one of the few planes that can do this, not to mention the ones flown by Crimson Team can tank more with the added benefit that they will dodge your shots with the power of AOA. Speaking of AOA, let's quickly go through the module selection. As usual, flares cancel missiles from hitting you and I'm sure I don't need a video clip to show you how they work. The AOA limiter or the Eurobeak module as I call it, is the more fun option. Use it to get an easier angle on your enemies, maybe dodge missiles or if you feel like a dead devil, perform impossible stunts, like this.
Anyways, this is the part of the video where I show you the skins. First you have the default monarch skin, the blue federation skin, the white federation skin, three different versions of the crimson squadron liveries, and finally the third crimson team skin with mercenary markings instead of the usual peacekeeper ones. If none of these skins satisfy you, there will always be skin mods. Better yet, you can also download a mod that can change the physical look of your plane entirely and represents a plane that was long removed from the game. The VX-23 has plenty of options for customization. I think that covers everything you need to know about the VX-23, dear peacekeeper. Now go out there, return peace to the Federation by using your advanced 5th generation fighter. Project all of your problems on low life mercenary scum and increase that social credit score of yours. You are the best of the best of federation pilots and anything you do to bring peace no matter how questionable will always be justified because you could do no wrong. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again for another video. Please like, comment and subscribe for more. Be crazy for me, let me see